Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Death End Request. Last episode, a lot happened. I'm just gonna say, the detective's daughter kind of looks like Clea. Like, it, the face, her expression, it just looks like Clea. Behind him was a younger girl dressed in formal attire, whose hands were placed on his shoulder. So it looks like Claire. <laughs> you gonna move on, game? Hello? Move on. Are we good? Can we go? Oh, have I been skipping dialogue? I guess that's his daughter. I mean, there's a sign in the back of his photo that says, Happy Birthday, Papa. Something about this girl's face is so familiar. I feel like I've seen it before. But where? It, I bet it's Kalea. It's gotta be. Man, this detective won't stop calling. Hmm, maybe he keeps all his pictures stored in his phone. So he's eager to get it back? Losing your phone sucks, so why don't you answer? Easy for you to say. If I answer that phone, the detective will... Hey! Catch! What? Lydia grabbed the phone, pressing the green answer button, as she tossed the phone over to me. Oh, you... Uh, hello? I answered the phone timidly, ready to hear the wrath the detective invoked once he realized that I was the one with his phone. You sure got some balls, you stupid brat! It's me, the owner of the phone you stole. Um, I I'm so sorry. I picked it up off the floor, but then I accidentally left with... Where are you right now, you thieving bastard? At, um, my house? <laughs> Stop lying, you fool. We have authorities staking out where you live, idiot. I I'm sorry? You left your lights on, and your front door is unlocked. Where the hell are ya? Uh, um, well... That's right. I haven't been home since I fled the house from those rabbit people. I wish that I could've locked my door at least. Anyways, return my cell phone to me at once. Yamabushi Park, 2pm. If you're not there... I'll kill you. Uh, what a maniac! He just threatened to kill me. Cops shouldn't be threat handing out threats. Hey, hey, are you going to turn his phone? Want me to come with you? N no, it's fine. I'll go by myself. Would you mind looking after Sheena for me, Lydia? Just call me if anything fishy happens. Got it, Addy. Hey, Sheena, flaunt it for me, girl. <sighs> Sometimes Lydia lays it on a little thick. But somehow she manages to play it off with a zany brand of charm. This time, though, I might die. This is bad. Five more minutes until 2 p.m. Man, this is the last place I want to be. I'd rather check on my apartment. But if the rabbit people find me, I'm a goner. Duh! Why didn't I think of it sooner? Why don't I leave his cell phone on the bench, so I can head home? I mean, he's a detective. I'm sure I'll find it soon enough. I'm a genius. Okay then. I dare you to leave my phone behind unattended. What? I'll shoot you in the back, boy. Uh, <gasps> Puppy, stop the way. Stuck in the corner of the detective's lips was a lit cigarette the tip of which burned, as he shot a piercing glance back at me. Uh, um, thanks for earlier? Whether or not you're guilty of the hack has yet to be determined, but I know that you've got no problem taking what doesn't belong to you. A real man owns up to his crime. You've got sins to answer for, and I won't rest until you have. Well, look who's talking. You illegally detained me. I refuse to be taken down for a crime I didn't commit. 
I had no choice but to leave. But, I never meant to steal your phone. It was an honest mistake. I'm sorry for the trouble. My eyes were pointed toward the ground as I handled the tech of his phone, handed it, and he begrudgingly, begrudgingly snatched it out of my hand. He scrolled through it, confirming silently that it hadn't been tampered with, then took a long drag of a cigarette. He blew a puff of smoke so large that I could barely see on the other side of the smoke screen. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta say though, you're a rare breed. A normal person wouldn't come all the way out here to return a cell phone. Oh, well, I just thought... <sighs> <coughs> Grow some spine, kid. I guess I can trust you. Just a bit. Your room was ransacked. Wanna tell me what that's all about? Well, according to your neighbors, someone wearing a strange mask broke in. If there's something going on, tell me. Do you know who's responsible? Could I trust this detective? If I were to trust him and give away too much in the process, he could use the information against me. At the same time, he might be able to help us. Maybe I should let him in on it, slowly. I have no idea, no clue who it might have been. After the cyber attack, there's been a threat of similar cases happening to my colleagues. All of us had been had our homes broken into. You think it might be a gang of hoodlums or something? What do they look like? They all wore rabbit masks and black sweaters with bunny ears on the hoods. I never got a look at any of their faces. I see. That confirms it then, huh? Do you know who's behind it? No, I don't. It's just that, in the past few days, we've been getting a lot of complaints about shady folk threatening and freaking out the neighborhoods. They'd sneak into people's yards, white mailboxes on fire, then their actions are erratic, unpredictable. So it's been difficult to determine a motive. We almost managed to arrest a few and bring them in for questioning, but they've all s but they're slippery quick on their feet. Have there been any reports about breaking and entering? Like, what happened at my apartment? Breaking and entering? Wait, so did you get a good look at the suspects? Oh, um, yes? You idiot! Why didn't you say so sooner? Did they try to threaten or harm you? No. Whoever it was tried abducting me from my own home, so I jumped over the balcony rail. I ended up hurting my hand pretty badly. Why would they attempt to abduct you? I have no idea. Damn, I haven't gotten any of the reports of breaking and entering. That online forum I showed you before had a post of asking some of the posters to attack Enigma's chief programmer. <laughs> Oftentimes, cults form these little online communities, people doing crazy stuff for a bit of validation. Then people start revering you. If these communities are targeting you and your colleagues, I'm guessing that whoever's chasing you is a victim of cyber terrorism themselves is being uh, coerced into communicate and de yet committing these crimes. Detective, Enigma is a company that develops video games. Our focus is on creating experiences for people that will stay with them for the rest of their lives. We take huge pride in our work and in our fans. We would never intentionally expose people to pain or danger. Oh shit. It completely goes against our CEO's mission statement. Tokiwa. Arata, you like to pretend that you don't care about the rest of your co-workers. I can tell that you've believed in us all along though. Shut up. How I appear in front of others is no one else's business. Sumaki Tokiwa. Am I correct? You're one of the programmers at Enigma, like Mizunashi here. You see, our CEO has an excellent eye for talent. I don't think anyone in our company is doing what you think we're doing. CEO, huh? A man on a mission. Warner Glock. What a name. A genius programmer. A titan of the industry. My daughter wouldn't stop talking about him. Your daughter? Oh, the girl in your background? Keep your filthy hands back. What? 
You better steer clear of my daughter. I'll destroy any rat who approaches K Kati? Kati? With an iron fist. Jeez, defensive much? I need to think of a better way to approach bringing up his daughter. Um, about your daughter. What about her? Oh, um, uh, I feel like I've met her. B Ow! Where? Where did you meet Kaji? Tell me. Out with it, you owe. All of a sudden, the detective clasped my face with both his hands. Ow! Hey, stop it. This is assault. You're hurting him. <sighs> what did you say? You're a hard-headed geezer, aren't you? Calm down for a second, would ya? How can you expect him to answer you if, you're thro if you throttle him? <laughs> apologize. The hell? I said apologize. You want him to answer you, right? Isn't he doing you a favor? Show some respect. I couldn't fight the urge to tear up as a result of the detective's rough housing. Meanwhile, Tokyo had didn't even flinch, so he's that weak. Seriously? Tokyo, a man like him would never... I'm sorry. What? Apology accepted. So tell me, my daughter, where did you see Kati? Uh oh um, well... I, I don't know. What? Uh, what the hell's up with you? What kind of game are you trying to play? I'm sorry, it's just that she looks familiar. I wanted to hear about what kind of person Kati was from you. <sighs> if she looks familiar to you, it's likely because she was involved in an incident that made headlines around the world. Incident? This past spring there was a high profile terror attack. A plane heading to Los Angeles was hijacked. Cotty was on that plane. I remember hearing about that. Supposedly there were a lot of Japanese citizens on that flight. After the hijacking, the airplane landed at the airport without a single passenger. Every person on the plane had disappeared. The suspect responsible for hijacking the plane shot himself in the head before he could be apprehended. He claimed that he was a martyr of God. We still have no clue as to whereabouts of the passengers. Sadly, the burden has been left on the families that determined to demand justice for the loss. I don't know if Kati is dead or alive. God damn it. I'm sorry. No. Tokyo, you were right. I was out of turn by taking my frustrations out on him. I have no clue if our current crisis has anything to do with the hijacking, but in the months since the terror attack, there's been an abnormal spike of mysteries, disappearances, abductions, and other cases being added to our missing persons list. Really? I haven't seen any news reports about increased disappearances, though. We've issued an indefinite embargo on reports. Disappearances have more than quintupled in the last three months. I assume it's no coincidence that the timing of these abductions lines up with the sudden appearance of these rabbit creeps. Be careful. What? That's terrifying. If anything happens, call me. Here's my number. The detective hurriedly scribbled his number on a memo pad, then ripped out the sheet of paper to hand to me. For now, I'll continue investigating the depths related to World's Odyssey. Brace yourselves. Detective, I have a reason to believe that Agle might be behind whatever's going on. I think we've been framed. As soon as reports of cyber attack blew up, they reported our affiliation to the public immediately. However, they provided falsified inf evidence to the police, because they struck out first. Enigma has no recourse to deny these allegations. Please, Detective, would you mind looking into it? If it's you, Detective, call me Hizumi. What? I too have a name, Mizunashi. Uh, okay. Mr. Hezumi. <laughs> Don't wear it out. I'll keep in touch. Later. Jeez! Great job! 
I'm impressed at how well you held your ground against that scary dude. Right back at ya. You. You're fearless, you know that? Seriously, you really saved my neck just then. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Oh, come to think of it, I thought you were out getting groceries with Rin. Where'd she go? I'm just gonna save right quick, don't want the game crashing on me and having to go so far back. Okay. I saw you as we were walking home. I didn't want her to meet the detective, so I told her to go on ahead to the summer wife office first. I see. Okay, let's head back now. Hurry! Hey, you don't have to yank me! Oh my gosh, you're so skinny! Don't you eat anything? If I'm in the mood. Ugh, you're so difficult. Why? Ugh, there's so much going on. <sighs> I need to drink, I need to rest, I want to eat. So much. Mm. Mm. Oh, then I could go all the way back to um the castle. What did Al do when you win? That, that could be a good thing to get in the very end of things. Don't very really much care for it. Yeah. Reserve member. Is she like, if... Wait. Is reserve member like, if they die, will that member hop in? I don't think that's how it's gonna go. I guess I'll have to find out, maybe? Anyway... This is okay. It. Not bad. Need to get you some attack stuff, girl. Not bad. Not bad. So, how's your swimsuit? Oh, that's your swimsuit outfit. Well, we aren't putting you in that. You can keep wearing your Sword of Kimono outfit. So your skills... Oh, yeah. Should we check it out? Let's check it out, people. Oh! Well, hot mama. No pun intended. Or I'll stop. Okay. Well, uh... How am I that right? You got different quests around right. now? That do it. Still gotta finish that. You called for me? Ah, you wanted to browse my wares. Hmm. How might be careful out there? Uh oh yeah. That's what we gotta do first here. Let's talk to Sheena. Can't talk to Sheena, talk to Al. Can't talk to Al, talk to Willie. Okay, we'll talk to you then, Claya. An event. Hey, so what do you all make of a pet or who's got no money to her name? Huh? Let me level with you all for a second. You see, there was a monster who scarfed down all of my money, and now I'm broke. So even if I were to sell my wares, I don't have any change to give people. I just gotta round up and hope for the best. Which makes almost every transaction a loss for me. Oof. Reminds me of saying... Reminds me of the saying, easy come, easy go. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, you aren't getting any sympathy from me. Hey, I didn't say the money was bad. You guys are being jerks. Don't you want to help me get my money back? Come on, anyone? If you require the help of others, why don't you just be honest and say please? Please? Whoa! <laughs> Got it. Why don't you tell us what the monster looked like, and which direction it ran? I did it! I got my money! Sweet, sweet money! I'm just shocked that it hadn't they digested all your money. Glad it came out in one piece. 
my money. She sure is thrilled. Yeah, it's almost scary. Oh, let her have this. It's rather nice to see someone smile. Doesn't it make her, doesn't make her any less scary? I love its weight, the way it sparkles. I'm obsessed with everything about it. I won't let anyone else get their grubby hands on it. All right, Mr. Krabs. Relax. We won't take it away from you, okay? What's up, Sheena? You're acting awfully calm. Can't you see the goods I'm working with? Here, why don't you hold my purse for a second? What? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Bakuri! Oh. What the? What? It ate my money? Yikes. Buggy. Damn thing must have been hungry. Don't take my wine. Spit it out this instant. Why you? Whoa, Clay, please stop. It hurts. I finally got my savings back. I can't afford to lose it all again. Oh no, Clay, my clothes. I don't care, it's my money. My wealth is more important than whether or not you're naked. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, Claya, give it a rest, would ya? Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> hey, because Sheena keeps falling around, Claya's clothes are getting, are coming undone too. What? Enigma, cover your eyes. Claya, no. Uh, she's laughing. Just shut up and take your clothes off. Give me the buggy. Is he here or here? This is worse than a cat fight. They're both practically nude. Not really. Oh, looks like Clay's purse isn't the only thing she's hiding under those clothes. What do you mean? I mean those panties. Sheena, on the other hand, well, I guess she's just a late bloomer. How lovely? Huh? What are you talking about? Ow, Willie, move your hands. Hey! Well, that, uh, was interesting, was it not? That's enough camping for once. I want to check out Koya's idol animation right quick. Can we see it? Could it appear for us? It's probably... Oh! That's her idol animation? Come on! Sheena's idol animation is like the only good one here. Because it's cute if it'll happen right now, but I bet it won't. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Oh, there we go. See? Boop. That's adorable. I love it. Makes me happy. Puppy. Gosh. Okay, so I'm thinking... I could go all the way back to whatchamacallit, the, um, the hell is that noise? The, this guy's in our way. Oh yeah, we can go all the way back to the castle, which I know it's a long trek for me, but I want to go back to the castle because I want to see if she can open that door. There was one I saw that looked like it was just... It just looked like it had a big bug around it. Not like an actual bug, but you know, the game's little walls. It said it looked like a board too, so... Let's try to avoid any fights on our way there. Fight if possible. No, I don't think we're avoiding that. No, we're not avoiding that. And then he moves forward. You ready? So she's got guns. Leave it to me! Alright. Gotcha, go for it. Out of here! Took you down. Let's go. I did it. Alright. Right there. I'll get him. Alright, let's see what you can get. Mix your headshots together. This is good. Oops. We can just do all that. It takes money. Oh, this is good. Hey, stop it. No. 
Ah. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. We'll try this. Hey, she got it. Ooh, we did. Jeez, that's going far. Coast is clear. Oh, and her buggy does her plant test peak. Alright. What's her knockback look like then? Just kick some. The rest to me. I did it. Nice. All right, then. We keep ourselves to go back all the way over there. So far out. Dang. Excuse me. Okay, so we need to go all the way over here. Too much. Here we are. I just hope I can find that door easily. No oh, crap. Uh, we're gonna have to fight. Hit them while they're not looking. Leave it to me. All right. Ah, uh oh, dang it, no. There you go. Let's go. So I could even summon. Oh, 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 disgusting. I don't want it. Then we get a new genre too. Slot game. Huh. I did it. Oh no. Well, the bug killed it. 239, wasn't this one? Though? Which one was 50? This is good. Oh, this one. This is good. Oh, this is a defense thing. Okay. This might cost you. Everyone's going to get freaking strong. Wait, the corruption level's up. I probably just messed them up. Fine. Got Dang it. Woman. Got you stronger than that. Only use about full H. Well, great. Already did that. This has got a higher this chance of being successful. I'll just kill him. Hey, nice. Let's go. All right. And just fire him back. Oh, I don't think it's gonna run into Koya. Just barely. I like her knockback. It's actually really cool. It's over. victory! All right. Yeah, this is the way to the castle. I can't even see where the game began from there, you know? Okay, let's go find that door. It's around here somewhere. I think it was upstairs. What's the corruption level here? So there's no corruption, yet this thing still sits. Ah, uh, annoying. Well, then we gotta go all the way around until I find it. <laughs> 